Hey guys, this is QQ. Back to watch Berserk episode 14. Get moving. Do you really want to die in a place like this? Yeah. Go back. Go back to the sheep your master holds. What? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> you paid for this before! This <laughs> 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 other eye. <laughs> If I were you, nice judo You're messing with our only woman, you'll pay for that. Get an arrow through the hand, an arrow through the side. Despite his wounds, he's beat nearly half of my hundred men. Arrow in his arm. Oh, then. He has some skill. Huh? What's that you say? So there are still 50 of you left standing. <laughs> This isn't worth risking my life for. Am I fighting for Casca? I should only be thinking about wielding my sword and how I'll kill them. Nothing more. Hey! I'm alright. Guts. Seem to be helping today. <laughs> You'll heal faster without anesthetic. You'll just have to bear it. <sighs> it's incredible. I can't imagine if anyone else had sustained wounds like that that he would even remain conscious. But he needs total bed rest. Total bed rest? That's gonna be hard. What are you suggesting we do with him? When the army breaks camp to move out, we could leave him behind. What? Oh shit! At least the two of you are safely back. Casca, uh, can I borrow you for a moment? Do you know? What's the matter? When we first thought we lost you two back at the cliff, I asked Griffith to send out a search party. Unfortunately, the nobles didn't quite agree with that course of action. Griffith really let them have it. Those two are key to the Hawks. I will not give them up. Griffith said that? said that about you. It's remarkable how much he values you two. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Is it medicine? I got it from this company of traveling players I used to work for. Now you may find this hard to believe, but they say that it's made from fairy dust. And it saved my life more than once, I can tell you that much. But it's such a precious thing to you, I... Don't worry. I think that a hundred men is more than a fair exchange for one pack of magic medicine. Judo, I... Thank you! Look at that. I wonder if... Suddenly, he's just like an ordinary boy. Hmm. Guts! I... Durr. He's probably up on the... What do you, what do you call it? Oh, wait, they're not in the castle. That's right. Yeah, he's probably, like, up somewhere high. Fuck. Of course. Don't you think he should be asleep? I 
can't sleep down there because my body feels like it's on fire. But at least up here, it's not quite so hot. I can rest. Judo gave it to me. Judo. It's some kind of secret medicine. All right, I'll send you a bat. That's some weird animation. <laughs> it's just my nature. I'd rather fight with my sword than run away, that's all. So that's the only reason? You fought a hundred men because it's not in your nature to run away. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Compared to what you are trying to do, me fighting a hundred men means nothing. It has no purpose. Griffith also. The two of you have something important that you can stake your lives on. I think it's great. Truly mean it. Compared to the strength of that purpose, whether I face a hundred men in battle or even a thousand seems like nothing. It seems to me that everybody stakes their lives in a lost cause. <coughs> Looking over them all from up here, I almost think I can see their hopes and dreams flickering in each little life. Like a bonfire of dreams. Wow, that was beautiful. You sounded like the princess talking. <laughs> Don't say that. But I understand. It's like each one of them has his own little light or a small flame that he brings. Exactly. What's Griffith? Oh, uh, guts. Each man cast his own into the strongest fire of all. Which is what's guts that? He just wants to fight. That is Griffith. My light isn't to be seen. Just someone who stopped to warm himself at the bonfire in passing. Before joining the Hawks, I always survived. No matter the odds, no matter how hopeless a losing battle, this time was no different. In truth, I don't believe that's any way to live one's life. I've never had anything except my sword. I don't want to die. For me, that is the only reason I keep fighting. There is nothing to save myself for or give myself to. I fight because I know nothing else. Are you thinking of leaving the Hawks? Really? That's I was I wasn't thinking that. Guts, please. I said that I would fight this war to the end, no matter what. Has returned to the camp. He heard that you were safe, so he changed his schedule so he could be here. Too. Hey. Good. That looks good. I have to apologize. It's because of me that everyone here was held back. I put guts and his raiders in danger as well. I'm not worthy to be a commander. I accept whatever punishment. <laughs> Shut up. Welcome back. All right, let's have a drink. Here, here. Are you sure you should drink in your condition? Oh, shut up. The alcohol will disinfect me from the inside. <laughs> But that's like after everything. That was a short ass episode, Jesus fuck. That was Berserk episode 14. Yes, episode 14. I was not expecting him to leave because I thought he was. Maybe he means after Griffith's whole um, 
dream has come true or whatever. Because he swore his sword to Griffith, so until the end of whatever Griffith's trying to achieve, possibly. I don't know why I'm looking over here. But uh, yeah, I wasn't getting that. <laughs> Not even in the slightest. Um, that was a short ass episode. Is that just me? But damn. Uh, okay, yeah, so. It kind of feels like there was a lot in there, but not really. It's, it's so odd. Um, I honestly don't know what Cassie is feeling right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing it's like this whole ordeal has drawn her closer to Getz um, since he did risk his life for her, even though he just says it's him. Even though he says that it's just his, the way he is, and he just wants to swing his sword in the fight. He was pr trying to protect her, I guess. But at the same time, he could have, like, withdrawn and trailed behind her to get to help. But he stayed and, and fought men. <laughs> I guess he just went, oh, what the fuck? Where did that commander go, though? The blue whale guy. Oh, my God. He got away. He totally got away. So fucking annoying. But I can't wait to see what the uh, Boskin does to him, General Boskin. I can't wait to see what the fuck he says. Because that blue whale dude's gonna get his ass kicked. Um, yeah, we're just gonna watch episode 15 right now. Screw it. <laughs> Thank you for watching Berserk episode 14. Ciao.